Brandon Union, way, way back. Hindi naman way, way back, no? Medyo ilang, isang taon at a few months ago pa lang, no? September 2010 in Budapest, Hungary, nilaunch nila ito, no? Ng ITU. Pero, yung truck, okay, ang purpose nito was to reduce pollution and waste in, uh, in waste production in triathlon events. Okay, I will elaborate on that mamaya, no? Doon sa, tungkol sa human activities. Uh, last year, I hope kung nandiyan na lalaban ng iba sa inyo, some of you were in the press launch uh, sa mga ginawa yun? Sa, I think sa Colombia, no? Mm -hmm. Some of you were there. We TRAP launched the uh, uh, Green Trial Initiative and implemented some programs uh, last year, specifically to sa aming SUBIT. SUBIT na yun yung SUBIT International Triathlon. SUBIT Bay International Triathlon. So yun yung ginawa namin last year. Marami kaming uh, implementation of the ideas that we gathered uh, in those period, during those period. Okay, itong taon na to, 2012, we are in intensifying. Intensifying, ganyan, no? Intensifying and expanding yung aming campaign on uh, this matter. So, sana we get some support from media. Okay, so ano yung, we also are redefining, okay, we are just uh, elaborating on what we'd like to do for the Green Triathlon Initiative. Number one, we would like to reduce and manage waste and pollution in our events. Kasama itong event na ito. Hindi lang karera, even the press ko. Napansin niyo walang straw yung inyong mga, yung inyong mga juice, no? Normally, nag-susupply na sila ng straw. Tapos yung kinain nyo, that is eco-friendly also. So, reuse, is, reuse fish yun eh, reuse fish. Alright? Ang pangalawang objective namin is to promote environmental awareness. Okay? And if, uh, and effect lifestyle change. So, with, uh, for example, yung bigyan namin nung sticker sa inyo, lahat ba nabigyan? Hindi. So, umuha kayo doon kay Khan sa table. Pwede nyo tanggalin ito mamaya, ilagay nyo sa cellphone niyo, or sa computer niyo, or sa kotse, sa dashboard, or wherever. Maalala nyo ngayon that I support Green Triathlon. So, hopefully, ganun, kakaroon kayo ng reminder. Oo nga pala, dapat kung apat na floor lang, tatlong floor, maganda na lang ako for this time. And so on. Ayun nga pala yung plastic bag ko. Hindi ko nagagamitin ng plastic bag. I will use reusable bag. Yeah. So those are the things that we'd like to do. Okay. Uh, since we are influencing other uh, event organizers, kasi as you know, marami na nag-organize uh, nag, uh, nag ng events. No? Mga run, mga triathlon, na hindi lang truck. Also other groups. And uh, hopefully with this program, na um, propagate siya with the help of uh, other people, uh, with the help of media, Sana yung itong organizers maging aware din sila uh, about these things and then they become, we are able to encourage them either directly or indirectly. In fact, meron kami mga moves na we are trying to uh, classify yung mga events. Ano? Pagka green yung organizer, tsaka green yung event, then ipopromote natin to people. No? So yung mga, pa, mga tao ngayon, mga runners, mga triathletes, they have a choice to na sasali sa mga event na green. Ganun ang ating uh, magiging moves for this year. No? And also, we can hopefully also encourage, and we have already, other sports organizations. Ibang NSA, ibang mga sports even probably here or even abroad. Palagi ko ma-influence natin sila with our activities at saka ating uh, success and uh, track record. So, yun objective natin. Very simple lang siya. Okay, ito magandang news. That's why we're able to afford more things to do, more more activities. The reason is we got some money. Actually, dollar siya, na dollar yung nag-receive na namin. So, uh, nakakatulong yun. Green box siya, green box. Sabi nga ni Mr. Tonkras ko. So, talagang literally nasa bulsa ko yung pera. No? Talagang nandiyan, pwede namin spend pang bayad ng, ng hotel, ng gay venue. And uh, medyo tinitipid lang namin para marami siyang magawa, marami siyang ma-accomplish ma with those, uh, with that amount of money. So again, yung support is coming from the, Olymp from the Olympic Solidarity. Okay, uh, na-award sa amin, good news yun. Medyo mabilis silang nag-award, no? Twice lang kami nag-submit through, uh, through the Philippine Olympic Committee. Tapos na-approve na kagad yung aming application. We were told na tayo lang yung pangatlong bansa in the world na nag-avail nung ganong klaseng program. Kasi maraming program, you know, meron para sa federation, meron para sa coaching, meron para sa mga officials, para, tapos meron para sa mga atleta, syempre, no? Pero itong program ito is for the environment. 
and we are only the third in the in the world to avail or successfully uh, uh, was awarded uh, the, the the grant from the Olympic Solidarity. So good news, John. No? And of course, we are not time to but the following years, we are not time we are not time Hopefully, we are able to get more uh, funding from from the OS. Okay, siguro, skip ko na itong portion na to about OS. Most of you in the sports media, alam nyo na yung ginagawa ng OS, ng Olympic Solidarity. Okay, uh, ito lang yung din naman namin last January 28. A few of you were here during that time. Specifically, si Ms. Sarita, si Lapet, si Ms. Zinia, nandun sila, and a few more. Uh, ito yung ginawa namin January 28. It was very successful kasi nagkaroon kami ng Pages and pages and pages of ideas na kinulit siyempre ni Ms. Arita, no? Na nanggaling sa mga iba-ibang tao na merong media doon, merong uh, age group triathlete, uh, triathlete, merong estudyante, merong event organizer, merong vlogger, maraming klase ng taong na doon sa workshop na yun, last January 28, nakagawa kami ng maraming ideas, no? At nakapag-network kami. We had a lot of speakers na very useful yung kanyang information uh, as far as environmental awareness and environmental actions are concerned. Yan yun, no? Okay. Uh, gusto ko lang i-point out or i-parang uh, remind sa tayo, no? Once we have any human activity, nag-generate siya ng pollution and waste. Katulad din ng, ng sports event. So, pagka nagkaroon ng sports event, yan ang nangyayari, no? There is a promotion of human activity. Siyempre, nagpo-promote siya ng use, use ng mga resources, no? Papel, kuryente, aircon, uh, supplies, nagkag gumagamit tayo, no? At the same time, siyempre, magpo-produce ng pollution yan at saka ng waste generation. Just to elaborate, Okay, tignan lang natin yung ginagawa ng mga sports event. Ayan siya, no? Ayan ako nakaka. So, di ba? Doon pa lang sa gilid, no? Sisimula pa lang yung event. Ang dami ng kalat kaagad, no? Plastic, papel, takip ng Gatorade, takip ng PET bottle, gel, ang dami-dami niya, no? So, talagang nangyayari yan, no? In events. So, this is another example. Yung try to event by drop. This is another example. Nakita nyo, di ba? Ang dami gumagamit talaga ng mga plastic bags. Marami talaga ng waste na nagpo-produce ang event. Okay, this is another example. Okay. Cups, papel, plastic. Ang dami talaga ng degenerate. Ito, kala. See? Ang dami, no? Yan. Yan ang ating dyan tayo ngayon na nagagulunihanan. Tama ba yung word ko na yan? We'd like to address those things. Okay, so meron tayong PET bottle, pinagamit sa karera, and so on, and so forth. So, maraming maraming pictures kayo, at saka na-witness nyo by, by yourself, talaga nag-degenerate ng waste. And uh, Trump has been in, the, in this, uh, in this uh, discipline for a long time, no? dekada na. And parang recently na natin na-realize, oo so, nga pala, no? Papag nga pala natin i-address itong mga bagay na ito, no? Uh, pero uh, guilty rin tayo dyan for the past decades na nagawa natin yan. Okay, uh, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo what we have done last year. Ito yung Subic, Subic, International, Subic Bay International Triathlon 2011. Yung ating experience, no? So, ginawa natin doon. Nagkaroon tayo ng Prescon, nagkaroon tayo ng kung ano ng mga bagay. I'll just, I'll just uh, show you what we have done, no? So, una, nag nagkaroon tayo. Nag-appoint tayo, nag-deploy tayo ng tinatawag na Green Marshal. Uh, yung ibang event na kikita nyo, merong Marshal sa karera. Nang bibigay ng direction, race official sila. Pero this one, this is a Green Marshal. Specifically, uh, task to uh, to look after the environmental aspects and impacts of the of the event. So, yun ang ginagawa nila. During the time, yung picture na kikita nyo na yan, they were soliciting pledges. Yan, ito. Actually, yung iba sa inyo, gumawa ng pledge during that time, no? Just a reminder, pagkabigay ng pledge, ibigay namin ng sticker, just a, rem a reminder na sumusuporta siya. So, basta meron siyang chinect dito ng dalawa or tatlo or more, then uh, uh, qualified na siya to be a supporter of the green environment, of the green program. Yan. Okay, so ito yung, ito yung ginagawa ng isang, isang pledger. So, nagpe-pledge siya. Okay, ito yung pledge. Mayroon kayong copy dyan sa inyo. Uh, one of our sponsors, yung Speedo, 
Kasi dati, bigay sila ng bigay ng plastic bag na lalagyan ng mga gamit. But this time, na-convince namin sila, sige, gumawa kayo. Sako yan, gawa sa sako. <coughs> Tapos sa loob, mayroong tuwalya. Uh, so, re reusable na siya by this time because of those, uh, uh, because of the uh, negotiations with the, with the sponsor. Ito mga stickers. Uh, again, we, we have more. Gusto nyo ilagay nga sa, ninyo, sa mga staff ninyo. And so on, pwede nyo gawin yan. Uh, ito yung green bag. Sino yung meron ganito? Yung sa akin na gamit na gamit na. No? Lagi nilalagay ko sa bulsa, sa bag. Pag namimili ako sa ano, sa supermarket, yun ang ginag ito ang ginagamit ko. Advertisement na siya ng green triathlon, tapos naiiwasan ko pang tumanggap ng bag, ng plastic bag. Eh, sila sa Tom Carrasco talagang sapilitan nilang ginagawa yan. Kasi muntin lupa eh. Di ba? Plastic bag doon. Pipilitan sila. Right. Uh, pero hindi kami 100% successful ah, sa subing. We are not 100% successful. In fact, we are just guro 60% successful sa subing. Ito yung isang example. Sabi na namin sa, sa, sa sponsor, wag gumamit ng plastic. Nag-plastic pa rin. Ayan siya. Sumobra. Nalagyan ng t-shirt lang yan. So, hindi siya successful. So, uh, just, to, just to elaborate lang na marami pa tayong gagawin iba. No? Aside from, this does not stop. Kasi continuous siya. No? Continuous yung, yung, uh, yung issue. So, yan, no? ang dami, no? Pwede naman wala. Sumunod na event namin, wala na. Itong ngayon, I hope, I hope wala na. Alright. So, sige. Ito ngayon, uh, gusto ko lang parang ikwento sa inyo. Total, nandito na tayo, no? Uh, uh, isang, siguro isang ano to, this is, uh, this is uh, parang isa sa mga success stories, no? Uh, sa diba, sabi ko, to influence others, yung gusto namin gawin. Meron kaming case of a copycat, parang kinokopya yung trap. Hindi kami yun, ha? This is another organization, kinokopya na yung trap. They learn from us, we learn from them. So itong grupo na to, nag-organize sila ng event sa, sa North, no? just last week. And they were successful in making the event very green. Pero kinopya nila sa amin yung idea at yung mga actions. Specifically, ito yung a few na mention ko lang. No? Unang-una, paperless registration. Talagang totally zero. Walang papel na ginamit for registration, except lang doon sa kanilang, uh, ang tawag doon, yung kanilang uh, uh, waiver. Yung waiver, ipinin sa, ano, sa used paper din. Ito, parang ganito, apat na waiver, para for, for legal purposes lang, pero use yung papel. So, yun nagawa nila. So, successful sila in that manner. Pangalawa, walang ginawang event poster, pero sumikat pa rin yung event. Lahat ng dokumento, nakalist, nakaprint sa gamit na papel. The same way that you're yung binabasa ninyo, used paper siya, di ba? Parang tumakit, tatapo na lang yan. Nagamit pa ng media. I hope you appreciate yung effort namin na magprint yan. Tsaka hindi niya masamain na parang basura hindi niya ginamit sa inyo. I hope na. No? Okay lang ba sa inyo? Okay lang? Okay, good. Uh, yung nakasulat sa likod, baka yung iba ng confidence yan. No? Baka yung mga financial statement nila Mr. Carrasco yan, paki-ignor na lang po. No? Ang panya nila, tingnan nyo. Baka confidential yan, no? baka yung mga nakasulat din ng mga demanda, mga ganyan. No? Paki-ignor na lang po. No? Pero yung harapang importante, yung information. If you want a soft copy, we'll be gladly send you. Pakirbigay lang po yung, yung uh, email kay ka. Then immediately, papadala namin sa inyo yung, 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 yung uh, soft copy niyang binabasa niya para pwede yung copy and print, uh, copy and paste. Okay? Uh, lahat ng mga organizer took, mali yung spelling na yan, ang public transport, hindi gumamit ng kotse. Yung paggawa ng mga kailangan sa karera, gumamit local craftsmen. Yeah, yung mga taga-bundok ng mga browser, yun ang ginamit nila. Total